Ah, yes. We fixed it. No, Problem no, solved. Okay. Yeah. But at least we fixed it. Hello, beautiful people. Okay, no, mommy knows what to do. So you're gonna come online and you know everything you're saying is gonna be it's gonna be head okay, no, no. M- mommy what are you doing what's that hello beautiful people so sorry about the technical hitch i don't know what happened my um my chat thing was not showing so i had to call for technical assistance you're welcome 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 to today's chat is your girl bridges echo thank you very much for joining me for today's live do you know what? I'm going to take a minute because I have quite a few things to share with, with you beautiful people before we get on to the interaction. So I'm seeing all of you that are coming online. And um, as soon as I, I finish my monologue, which is uh, what I have written down here, um, um, the background story, um, then I'll say hello. So you're welcome. Welcome back to Bodebo TV. If you haven't subscribed, please click on the subscribe button. I'm doing a lot of live now. And I feel like people are not, they are not subscribing because I'm doing live and I'm not saying, please subscribe, please, you know, like, please share. Uh, so please like, share <laughs> and hit on the notification bell. Hi, you're welcome. Tonight we are doing some gist thing. I want to gist. It's been a while since we had a very, very interesting gist. So tonight we are just thing. So before I come to say hello to my beautiful Bodoibo family, I'm going to quickly give you guys a synopsis of what we are about to talk about tonight. I hope you have your tea ready because I have mine ready. If I, my tea is so big tonight because this, this gist, this gist tonight promises to be very juicy and interesting. It's going to be an interesting one tonight. This gist that we are, I'm about to share with you guys. So you guys know that Linda Ikeji had a baby um, two days ago. She had a baby and, you know, she shared a picture of when she was having the baby online on her Instagram page. And everybody in Ninja was congratulating her. At least most, you know, celebrities and people who are her friends, her family, were congratulating her on the arrival of her baby. For those of you who are non Nigerians or Africans who don't know Linda, who Linda Ikeji is, Linda Ikeji is the biggest African blogger. She's a blogger. So she started blogging over 20 years ago. And um, her blog, you know, has made her so much money. She's very rich. You know, she's well connected. She knows people. And um, yeah, so apparently, <laughs> the tea is that Linda, while she was doing all this, was exposing a lot of people. She was exposing people who were having an affair, single parents, who was sleeping with who, who was doing that, who was doing this. So she had informants who were give, giving her all these stories about what is happening and, you know, all whatnot. Somebody said today on my Instagram page that when I posted it, that I was going to talk about this uh, topic tonight, that... Linda was actually digging for information and people were practically begging her to take some of the vlogs that, uh, blogs that she did on her website down because of the impact it had on their life. But she wouldn't because, you know, that's her bread and butter. That's how she, <laughs> that's how she made her money. Oh, yes. Yeah, so liar. the devil is a liar. <laughs> that's how she made her money. Hmm. So apparently Linda has been preaching celibacy. Mm, say, don't do until you marry. She has a lot of, you know, young ladies who follow her because she's this role model that, you know, a lot of Nigerian young ladies look up to. Like, you know, she came from poverty. Her parents had nothing and she worked herself, you know, you know, through this blogging thing and made so much money. She bought a house for, I don't know whether it's 500 million. They say she bought the house in some posh area in Lagos. She has all sorts of cars. She has an office. She's employing people. She's living the life. She has all the designers, wares and everything. I'm going to say hello in a bit, guys. I'm, I'm going to come to you in a bit. I see you. Oh, I do see you, but this story is too juicy. I want to get on with it first before I come to you guys. So, so Linda is the one that apparently is reported to have been preaching celibacy. Don't do until you marry. Marry first, then you do. 
that is the message she's preaching. And why she was doing that in the number of years she's been exposing people, you know, blogging about people who are, you know, who are sleeping with other people's husband, who are breaking homes, politician, just name it. Every death in this world has been on her blog. So all of a sudden, in during the summer, you guys know during the summer, she she now announced that uh, first of all, she announced that she was engaged. Yeah, she announced that she was engaged, and you know, everybody was congratulating her because that's the only thing that she's always said she wanted. She wanted to be married, she wanted to have children and all that. And that's she had all the success materially, but she didn't have a husband. And you know, in Africa, <laughs> for a woman in her 30s not to be married, and you know, you have that level of success. And you have no children, you have no husband. Ah, that is the abuse point for most people. They will abuse the living daylight out of you, you know, which it shouldn't be. I don't, I don't, you know, I don't think it should be like that. Nobody should be abused or assaulted or, you know, called names because of their marital status, especially for women. Because at the end of the day, you're not going to marry yourself. You know, see who marry you, what do you want to do? You cannot marry yourself. So, what can you do? Anyway, let's get on with it. So, in that same, same summer, after Linda came and announced, and I mean, I mean, this lady we're talking about, her life was made on social media. She made her fortune on social media. Everything she has, even her toil, according to some of her, <laughs> some of her followers, they say if she buys a toothbrush, she will put it online. That look at the toothbrush that I've just bought. If she buys handbag, she will say, look at the Hemis bag that I've just bought. Anything that girl has is online. Her life is an open book. So, now you can imagine the surprise when Linda now came and said she's engaged. We don't see husband. We all oh, we don't see fiancé. It was only her that took the picture and said, showing the ring and say, I'm engaged. Where is the man now? We don't see. Hmm. Uh, anyway, they were congratulating her. People were congratulating that maybe she's just hiding the identity of the man for now. They are going to do wedding and all that. Hmm. Uh, a few weeks later, Linda come and now say she is pregnant. She's expecting her first baby. In fact, that one now blew everything open. People were now saying, hey, 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 there is no wedding. So you've been doing this thing that you told us not to do. Hey, hey. The, the main thing that people were so upset about, apparently, is the fact that she's been preaching that young ladies shouldn't do. Mm, they are over. <laughs> They shouldn't do that, Jagolova, until I do. Until they go to the altar and say, I do. <laughs> but apparently, Miss Linda has been enjoying Jagolova behind closed doors without nobody's knowledge. So, of course, a lot of people were upset. You, this is Ninja we're talking about, oh. Mm. People were upset. We're like, how can you be pregnant? You said you are celibate. You don't do. And now you are pregnant. You don't have a husband. You only announced your engagement a few months ago. And now you say you are pregnant. There's no wedding. There's no marriage. Oh, my God. People were enraged. And hair has no fury by now. Hair has no fury like Nigerians who have been offended or who, who, who feel that they've been deceived. Ha! They will come for you anyway. There was a lot of controversy about the, the wedding, about uh, her pregnancy. You know, a lot of speculation about who the baby daddy is, who got not pregnant, if she's really engaged or not. Anyway, I know a lot of people were really disappointed. In fact, I know somebody who is a close friend of mine that really loved Linda and felt so let down. In fact, when she got engaged, all the blogs were carrying the story that Linda, oh, shame on her, all her distractors, all the people that thought that a successful woman cannot get a husband. God has done it. She's found someone. She's engaged. Now, engagement with you, we no can see wedding. Hey, what do you think is going to happen in a society like Nigeria? All those people that she's been exposing and campaigning and, you know, blogging about over the years and talking about, she's been blogging for over 20 years. And she blog had her blog is revealing debts about people. She reveals the, the, the deepest debt that people has. She has informers that will inform her. She will reveal everything. As in, hey, she, she has information that she will share that if the person was up here, yeah, let's say the person was up here. By the time Linda finished exposing you on her blog, you will be down here. That's what she was doing. But she was making her money. That was her bread and butter. So she didn't care. This was, you know, she was 
you know, she was hustling. She's a hustler. <laughs> so, not to bore you guys too much, let me jump to, to why I'm doing this blog today or why I'm doing this vlog today. Linda gave birth two days ago. So, people started congratulating her that the freeze, who is her friend, took to social media and wrote a very long epistle congratulating Linda on the birth of her son, uh, who she called Jace, Jeremy, <laughs> uh, the name plenty. She called uh, some three JJJ. That's what she called the baby. But I know the first name is Jace. So she now took to, uh, Daddy Freeze now congratulated um, Linda, come and see abuse. Hey! Come and see abuse. If you see the insult, the first person said, Said that said to that the phrase you must be high on cheap drugs. How dare you congratulate this woman, this this old woman who has a bastard? That's the word they use, bastard. Oh my god! In my mind, I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Then I went and went ahead to this person's uh, to this person who, who made that comment, and then come and see comment. One of them said, "I'm ashamed of all of you that are celebrating anti hag fake life, Linda Ikeji." who is a very bad example to young ladies. She claimed to be celibate, but fucking around and arranging a surrogate. <laughs> Nigerians are, oh my, mean people. This country has turned to a shameless one. A country where whoever is rich and famous is supported by majority, irrespective of whatever nonsense they are doing. But belittle is the non-famous. We are here. Why are you celebrating a close to 50-year-old unmarried woman who gave birth to a bastard? Hi. I saw this comment that was like, yes, so crazy. Eh? Is serious like that? Eh? Is serious like that? She's been blogging for over 20 years. Yes, she has. She's quite quite young. She's she says she's 30. She's in her 30s now, but I don't know. But you this person says she's close to 50. I don't know. I have not seen her birth certificates. Uh -huh. So I don't know. But she's been blogging for. She says she opened her office. If you want, if you follow her, you, you will see all the posts she's doing about when she started that she's been blogging since over you know 20 years. Come and see insult. The insult is too much. Hmm. I thought that you know the comment is too harsh that people will say, ah, ah take it easy now. Ah, ah. Why is this so important? Why are you guys so harsh? You guys are not like you know. I'm giving you guys tea now. You know you like Gisto. I have 148 people online, but only three like. I beg now. Show me love now. Like now. Like like this this life if you like it. <laughs> like it oh. Hmm. Eh? Come and see oh. Insult eh? He plenty too much. It's insult upon insult. They were raining on her. Then. Nigerian vlog, blog, extra uh, Instagram blog that everybody knows that they are the ones that are always ha, blogging, 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 blogging. Insta blog Ninja now added salt to the injury and posted this, this blog yesterday and said Shola Jeremy and his baby mama Linda Ikeji name her son Jace. So apparently, there's this picture of this guy who is called Shola Shola Ye Jeremy, who they say is from. Maybe, I don't know whether it's by Elsa or somewhere they say the guy is from. He's a married man, you know. He's a married man who, you know, is a, allegedly is the father of Linda Cage's baby. I don't know <laughs> whether this is true. I am just reading what Nigerians are saying. In fact, you should go and read that post. You go laugh, laugh. If you are bored or you are feeling depressed, just go and read. You will laugh, 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 laugh for that. Ah, you don't want to make, make it to this blog that they should talk about you because, oh my God. Hey, somebody says she's been writing and bullying baby mamas all her career. This God, there, eh, he surely knows how to serve, serve sweet karma. Come and see, see story. So apparently this guy uh, called uh, Jeremy is a, is a billionaire, uh, is a, is, is a businessman. Um, is if uh, people are allegedly saying that he's the father of the son. Hmm. So these are the things we know about Shola Jeremy. He's an Ishekiri guy. He's from Delta State. He is reportedly an oil magnate. He's is a close associate of the Minister of State for Petroleum, Ibe Kechuku. 
Jeremy used to live in Lekki before he moved to Ikoyi, where Linda has a mansion. Her close pals include Bilonia, Femi, or Tedola. He's over 40 years old. <laughs> Linda Ikeji, Linda, Linda's son is not Jeremy's first child. He has a son who is outside the country. <laughs> These are people who are adding, you know, more, they are putting more, more, more juicy gist to who this baby daddy is. So I posted this blog. Uh, I posted a story about all this abuse and what people are saying uh, about Linda on my Instagram this morning. If you are not following me on Instagram, you need to follow me because that's where I always post stuff as they come along. I just post before I even do my vlog, I post. And then I start asking for opinion because in my mind, because I'm not a follower of Linda, like I said before, I've never really followed her. So I don't really know much about her. I just know she's a Nigeria vlogger. Somebody was saying that, <laughs> thank you. Somebody was saying that uh, actually, because in my mind, in my post, I was making reference to the fact that, you know, she's been bullied and called names because she's a single parent, because she announced her engagement, but she's not married. And now she has a baby. That's why people are abusing her. And then my follower said, no, 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 Auntie B. That is not it, though. That is not it at all. That Linda has been writing stuff against people who have babies outside wedlock. She's preaching this so-called lifestyle of celibacy, saying that, you know, you don't, you shouldn't do the, I'm talking, I do. Don't do the cocoa below. Don't do the, uh, <laughs> what do we call it here? Jangolova. Then Linda now went and did Jangolova and had a baby. No wedding. Ha! That's why people are coming for her. That is hypocrisy. She didn't practice what she preached. And, you know, the young ladies that she's been, you know, like, she's sort of a role model to them. She's a role model, not sort of. They look up to her. She's rich. She's everything that, you know, what do, what do you expect them now to believe? Because she's deceived them. She's lied. It means that she's a fraud, basically. That's what people are saying, that she's a fraud. She does not practice what she preaches. And she has lied to people all this while. And that's why people are coming from her and yabbing her and abusing her. Because she's a prophet who doesn't practice what she preaches. Meanwhile, the baby daddy apparently is married. But while all this is going on, <laughs> Linda has just gifted a new baby, uh, baby that she just had two days ago. Uh, a very beautiful car uh, that her sister posted that she, she bought a Bentley that is worth around 30 million. That's what I'm saying. She bought a baby, a, a car, 130 million naira for her new child, a two-year-old child. She bought a Bentley car for the two-year-old child. This is what I'm saying. This girl's life is everything about her is online. So that's why you see people are so enraged that they have not seen this so-called man she's engaged to. If there's really a man, where is this man? Every other thing about you, we know. We know your family. We know everything about you. Where is your husband? You have a baby. You are not married. You are wearing one ring. Where is your husband? Let's see. So people are saying that this is why, you know, a lot of people are abusing her and reacting to, you know, this news of her baby delivery. That me, that I'm saying that, you know, they're attacking her because she's a single parent that I'm getting it wrong. Because I didn't know the background that she's preaching celibacy. I did not know that, um, you know, Anyway, let me not bore you guys too much. I've been telling this story for 18 minutes. That's a long time. Yeah, let me come to you. So what are your thoughts about Linda Ikeji's baby mama or baby daddy drama? Do you think that Linda is a hypocrite? Those who know her, do you feel like, you know, there's a man? Is he married? Is he, you know, what is the gist? What do you guys feel? Why do you think people are coming after her so much? Do you feel like it's because she's not practicing what she preached in terms of being hypocritical about practicing you know, saying she celebrates and she wasn't. Is that why? Or is it the usual, um, you know, the usual attack that single parents, single mothers, especially in Nigeria still have in today's world in 2018, whereby single mothers are still seen as, you know, a sort of, you know, something that is abominable or something like that. But what I didn't like about that is why, you know, single parents are being stigmatized Single daddies are not. All these musicians that we are talking about, which kid, how many kids does he have now? I think he has like two kids. What about Davido? How many children does he have? Nobody stigmatizes a man 
who is a single father and having baby baby mamas everywhere. But a single mother is being stigmatized, which is wrong. It's discrimination. And, you know, I challenge that. I don't accept it. But, yeah, let me come to, let me come to you guys and say hello. Hello, hello, hello. No man, no. Kelly, chukunyere. No man, you know that for sure. <laughs> hello, Mazella, Mimi, you're welcome. Chocolate Cafe, appearing to be rich lifestyle. Mm. Okore Julia, say hello, and TV. You're looking smashing, and always my, <laughs> my chat button. Also, I tell you, I don't know how our village people did not want us to do this gist today. Ha, no, they are, they are a joker. Mm. The bad I say, the stupidity on both stupidity to waste money buying a baby a Bentley, but it's more money. So let me hold it. Hmm. How can it be? What does the baby even know what's a car is? This is what I'm telling you about her lifestyle. Everything about her is online. Her life is basically online. That's why you see people are so saying that there's no man. Because if Linda had a boyfriend or a husband or a fiancé, she would have displayed him to the whole world. The reason why she's not showing him is because he's probably married or there's some dodgy story, you know, going on somewhere. Fancy face say, if, that, if what she's doing all along was mounting people, she deserves all the leave she gets now. What goes around comes around. Oh, yes, I hear she's been mounting people a lot. I, I didn't follow her blog. I've never, I, I think I've probably seen her blog, uh, visited her blog only a few times. But apparently, she's been mounting a lot of people. She has really, really stepped on so many toes. And I said, Chris, I saw, I pity for those who actually look at her seriously. <laughs> who look at her seriously. And I hope they recover from the, her deceit. Oh, these are young ladies, though, and you know how they are very trusty. Young ladies always look for, they aspire to, you know, all these so called celebrities that, you know, are supposed to be role models and everything. And Nigeria, being a very religious society, now not see this very successful blogger who is celibate, she's a Christian. Attire for Nigerians, honestly. Attire for us. I am just so tired of Nigerians. These people that are busy here now, eh? if you see her, see them, they will put very nasty comment and call her name abuser. If you go to their profile, they will say, God child. The first thing they will put is, I'm a God's child. I'm a, I'm, I'm Jesus' baby. I <laughs> ah, today, today says, who is driving the Bentley, Linda or the baby? I don't know. Mm, FIFA. Bonjour, you're welcome. If I want to ask you, are you a male or female? I really want to know because I really don't know. Eh? Tell me to say, Linda bought spam. Oh, Mario. Jesus. Ah, has it reached that level? Ah, ah. Chocolate Cafe say, <laughs> Oh, you're welcome. Mimi K, the devil is a liar. We must, we must gist today. Yeah, so this gist is too hot. So, Chuku and Jaco, women will always be marginalized by night. Oh, by Nigerian society. Oh, yes, I believe so. Somebody said, man, being a woman in Nigeria is is, is, is not easy. It's a struggle. Because, you know, Nigerian society is not very, very kind to single women, especially single women or single uh, parents who are women. Mm. Miss De, Miss Darling, Darling Star say, hi, Bridget. Linda did not preach celibacy. What she says is, don't allow... Don't follow a man because of money. I think people are just mean. Oh, really? Well, I didn't. Like I said, I really know. This is what everybody's saying. That are you sure? Because a lot of people are saying that she preached celibacy. That she said, "Don't do it. Do not do it." Whiskey has three three kids. Oh my goodness! How many does David Davido has? Hmm. But nobody's talking about them. Oh, they are all celebrities. Oh, but they are not role models. That's a different thing. That's that. I feel like maybe that's where you know the issue is. Uh, because Linda has appoint made herself this role model that these young ladies look up to. <laughs> Barbara says she's absolutely a hypocrite. <laughs> oh my God! If I'm a duro, can we finish her saying that she wasn't pregnant? That all was packaging. She did surrogacy according to her two very close friends of Linda. I don't think so because she took a picture after that. Uh, uh, what Kemi said, she took a picture of the baby bump. That baby bomb cannot be fake. Linda, that's how you guys, you see how far she will go. Somebody, this Nigerian blog, I don't even know what that woman is. They call Kemi. I don't know. You people, I don't know. You for, you listen to her. They say she's very intelligent, you know, woman, but 
Mm. I think I feel like there's something seriously going on with that one. I don't know. So said she wasn't pregnant. She's doing surrogacy. You know, she's not pregnant. Linda took off her clothes. Started showing baby bomb. Rewind. She took pictures over and over again. So I don't think she did surrogacy. That was a real pregnancy. I will know a pregnancy bomb when I see it. Trust me. I've been there and done that several times. <laughs> no, so if I'm a do, I don't think so. Hmm. If I'm a do, says, can we finish her saying that she wasn't pregnant, that she was packaging? She did so good. No, I don't think so. Inky said, maybe it's a test tube baby. Women do not always have the luxury of waiting forever for motherhood. She's getting old, so maybe she helped herself. Have a child now, then so husband can come later. I think she actually had a baby. She did. She did have the baby because she took so many pictures of the baby bump when she was accused, you know, of the same thing that is a surrogacy she's using. Mm. FIFA says, I think there is no man. Uh, uh, I'm leaning towards that because if there was a man, we would have seen that man because all her life is out there. Eh? Unjua Fred, 71, say it is unfortunate. She said one thing and does another and does something else. Oh, yes, that's that's life for you, you see? It's, it's the same thing with all these pastors. They preach one thing and do another thing. So you can, that's, I mean, this is to tell you that you never know. You never know. People follow people and you think, oh, they are the perfect example of what I want to be when I grow up. You'd be surprised who they are. I feel like for a lot of people, not everyone, but for a lot of people, they have, their lifestyle, it, what they portray on social media is completely different from, from what their real life is. That's the way I, I mean, we see that happening a lot of times. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Love does say, God forgive them. <laughs> Sam did not get notification. Oh, sorry about that. Your data needs to be on. Uh, Dini says, maybe the guy does not want to be seen on social media or his social media shy. I doubt it. Because for you to marry somebody who is the most famous and the most, the richest uh, blogger in Africa, <laughs> you are, you can't be shy. No, I doubt that. B, BM says, show off just trying to oppress people who believe so much in what there is on social media. I love you, Damien. You're welcome. Hi, Mommy Juliet. I do. I do. Can't play my sister. I feel grand. Fancy face say, let them go and have several seats with their holier than thou. <laughs> with their holier than thou attitude. <laughs> Who are they? That's the celebrities are the all the the social media, social media influencer. That's what they call them. Influencer. I had to be looking at that word. I said, what does it mean to be influencer? Every time you will see people on social media, they say they are social media influencer. All they do is take picture and post like this. They'll do like this. They'll do like this. They'll do like this. I say, all this posting there. Ah, oh, they must be making money from it. If they're not making money from it, there will not be so many influencers out there. <laughs> hey. Watch your you say, I beg, make you not forgive her. Oh, no, Nigeria, you go tell her. Go tell them for Easter blog, Ninja. Not them. If you see what they they take her, I see. Ha. I'll probably say, nah, I think she's too pretty. And Rachel. To be having a testy baby, there's definitely a handsome, rich, rich man responsible for this baby. I think there is a man, but it's just we don't know if the man is married. Uh, most likely, he's married, you know, because a lot of single young people would be intimidated in Ninja with Linda's level of success. Yeah, she's very, very successful. <laughs> Barbara say, I feel for the baby and also for her three for her three-year-old because money is, isn't going to teach them responsibilities in learning how to make their own money when they are old. The baby already has a Bentley and he's only two years old, so I don't know. It, it's, I mean, she's got too much money, so she wants to spoil the child. It's going to be a spoiled child, that's for sure. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're in Lushan. Tunde, Tunde. And you didn't come for my meet and greet. Oh, dear. My meet and greet was so close to you. Mimi K says, well, however, she got her baby. It's her choice. Children are a blessing. Nonetheless, our people can easily misconstrue our opinion and thoughts. I agree. I don't believe the child is a bastard or illegitimate. There's nothing like a bastard. I mean, you should see this person arguing today on social media. Yesterday, I was saying, he's a bastard. I said, what is... He said, check. Somebody has said, how can you call somebody's child a bastard? She said, bastard me and a child has had a, a side wedlock. Check your dictionary. 
Do you know what? I have never ever looked that word up. Because in the context that we use it in Nigeria, bastard always means a child who, whose father is not known. So when I saw that, you know, this person was arguing that bastard means a child has bought outside word law, I actually looked it up. And you know, that person is correct. A child that is born in a, in, in, you know, in a, in a relationship where there's no marriage is actually what the dictionary calls a bastard. But in the context for which Nigerians use it, because sometimes words, you need to put them in context for you to get the actual meaning of what they are intended for. On this occasion, I will, I will argue that the way Nigerians use bastard is not, is not on that level. Nigerians use bastard in a way that, oh my God, it means that, oh God, who are you? Mm. Who are you? What are you saying? What do you have to say? <laughs> Thank you, Barbara. Thank you so much. Exactly. Tochuku Njoku say, what about Two-Face before ha, before he got married to Annie? I don't even know how many children the Two-Face has all together. That guy, he's very, very fatal. He's so fatal. Maybe you should go to a spam bank and donate some of those spam, you know, because I'm sure you will just be having ch children, happy women who need children everywhere. Ah. Hey, Temi Tolu says, Kemi is sick. Who is listening to that one? He? He? That one, eh? I don't know. Because the kind of things that she will say about herself. Somebody said that her father is a... She said her father is a ritualist. Her father... There's nothing she doesn't say about her family. So, I mean, I don't know. Indi Okpara says, but she has said the man's name. No, I don't think she has said the man. No, 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 no. She hasn't said the man's name. She just said she's engaged. She never said... I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh yeah, Barbara, she, she doesn't do vlog. She only recently came to YouTube. And uh, where she made her money from was her website. She has a website, uh, which is Linda KG. Uh is it blog blogs? Uh I don't know what the handle is, but she has a website. She only recently came when she started doing Linda KG TV. She progressed from her website and now she's doing TV, and that's when she started on YouTube. She's always been, you know, a blogger who has a website. And, you know, the it wasn't images, it was written. All what she was reporting was written. And, you know, she was making her money from, you know, from that website. It wasn't from, um, from uh, videos or anything like that. She doesn't do videos. She writes. Uh, Helen says she was so rude, showing the pregnancy everywhere. Yeah, I feel like she was showing the pregnancy because people challenged her that uh, she wasn't actually pregnant. That's why. She wanted to show people that she's actually pregnant. She wanted to show people, oh, chocolate cafe, you know, Kemi. Ha. Hey, that one, eh? <laughs> that, that one, eh? I don't know. It, it is well. Hmm. The bad I said, the thing is, why did she lie about being engaged? I don't know. Because if she wanted to have a quick wedding, even if she has the money, she could have arranged a wedding on that two months. I mean, from the time she announced her pregnancy, which was in summer, if she wanted to have a wedding before, you know, the, the, the delivery of her child, she could have done it. She's got the money. Even if the guy is broke, Linda can finance the wedding to any level. Her sister is a wedding planner. Her sister is, is does wedding planning. So I don't think uh, there was any issue. At, again, the question is, where is the man? Is there a man? Is he married? Is he single? Sam said a certain shameful statement ascribed to her a few years ago puts her in a poor light with me. Oh, hmm. she said so many things about people. A lot of people, you know, you know, will say that, yeah, she's, she, this is nemesis. Ne this is nemesis. Like, it's like a physician who has been, you know, taking their own, you know, who couldn't heal themselves and she didn't practice what she preached. And this is the, this is the payback time. People are paying her back. That is what a lot of people will argue. So Chiku Unjaku says, no one is perfect. Of course, no one is perfect. We'll, we'll never say anyone is perfect. Everybody has their own, you know, their own um, weak point. <sighs> ha. Tunde, Tunde, I should do a blog about Bobriski. Okay, the May Babi. You've not seen enough blogs about Bobriski. Eh? No, I don't want to do a vlog about Bobriski. <laughs> no, 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 no. Eh, no, I don't think so. I don't want to do a vlog about Bobriski at all. I don't think I want to. There are so many blogs about him, so yeah. 
it's not my cup of tea. Nikki said, Inky London says her mom was dancing in the hospital and thanking God for the baby. All children are a blessing, of course. I think that's her first, I'm not sure, but I think that's her first grandchild. Because Linda has a lot of younger ones. I don't know if the woman has a younger, uh, has grandchildren. Um, Afrobeat says it's, it's a shame if he's married then, because no one, no self-respecting woman would have anything to do with a married man. <laughs> I'm telling you, Afrobeat, if it comes out that this man is married, hey, Nigeria will not contain leader. I'm telling you. I see, I, I'm still believing, I'm still hoping, you know, in some way that this guy is not married. He better not be married. Because Linda is the one that exposes people that who are, who are sleeping with married men, who are ruining people's home, who are husband partner or wife snatchers and things. That is all she was, it was always death upon death upon death she was doing on people. So that guy had better not be married. No, 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 no. He must not be married. Hmm. It won't be nice at all. Kemi, uh, Fancy Face says, Kemi is a very intelligent person. I'm sure she's, she has bipolar disorder. They are usually very intelligent. What she displays sometimes a classic manic face and uh, bipolar. Well, uh, I'm sure Nigeria is not the best place for you to have a diagnosis of any mental health problem because, um, the, I mean, the services might not be there. The support might not be there. You know, people will just attribute you to some witchcraft or some, you know, Something spiritual. Everything in Nigeria, every illness in Nigeria is spiritual. Mm. <laughs> Mimi says, oh, he's replying to somebody. Okay. Uh, Grace says, <laughs> well, people are fighting here. Please don't fight. Oh. Leave Suleiman out of this. Don't fight. <laughs> hey. Anointed quick say, I'm sorry oh, to say, because in a few months' time, some Nigerians on social media, Insta blog Ninja, children will never forget to, you know, do loads of memes on her child's picture. Huh. The child's picture is already dead. You know that. Even as a baby in hospital, she actually took pictures of when she had the baby. From the hospital bed, well, after she had the baby, she took pictures. I would have thought that, anyway, it must be happiness. It must be happiness. Richard said, we look down upon women who have abortions in Africa, but those who choose to keep their kids and raise them single-handedly or being an unmarried, we still look down upon them. What is wrong with Africa? What do Africa want? Mm. Yeah, that's the thing. Africans, I don't know. But on this occasion, I don't think it's about her being a single parent because I don't know about other African countries, but in Nigeria, I feel like the society is a bit more accepting now I mean, there are single mothers everywhere. But it's about who she is on this occasion and what she stands for and what she has said, you know, and what she has preached. You know, that is why this attack is so much. Augustina says, maybe the man is already married and didn't want to publicize on social media. There must be a man. Of course, there's a man. Is she pregnant herself? If he's married, then that's very, very shameful. BM say, hope is not from one night stand after some shots and woke up after one. <laughs> after one more pregnant. <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> say, say, says, what goes around comes around. Oh, yes. Hi, Chibuke, you're welcome. Sinora, Sinora, you're welcome. Oh, that's her first grandchild. Chibuke said that's her mother's first grandchild. I see. I think Linda is the, is the oldest child of the family. Uh, she's, the, uh, she's the oldest child. Of the family. Fancy Face says, What most of us love so much about you is your uniqueness. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Chocolate Cafe say, Can one cause the younger brother is married to? Yeah, he's married to the younger sister. One of the younger sisters is married, which is like, I think is like the third one to her, because there's one which is Sandra, the wedding planner. Who is next to her? That one to uh, announce her engagement. And you see, when that one was an announcing her engagement, there was video of when the engagement took place. The guy went on his knee, and so many people were recording it. So we saw it that there was a man actually engaging her. But and, and in the case of Linda, we didn't see anything. We didn't see any man. We didn't see any engagement taking place. And that's why people are saying, "Where is this man?" 
Where is this man? <laughs> Julia say, I beg, let her have baby. Menopause is knocking on the door. <laughs> Menopause is a woman's uh, is a woman's cost, isn't it? I feel like women have it harder, isn't it? We have it harder. We are the ones that have to wait for men to propose to us, to marry us. We are the ones that have to be checking our biological uh, timetable to know how old we are, to be checking how old, whether we can still have babies and all that. But a man of 70, I was telling somebody uh, yesterday that uh, my uncle, who was in his 70s, got, he, he, had, he had babies. He got married to a woman and started having babies at 70 plus. So I feel like Sometimes you can't question God, but uh, nature, uh, women have more. Uh, we, we suffer more from nature and, you know, just the way we are biologically. <laughs> Lydia Esosa Osanreti says, people, please, my people, Linda is not the only person who preaches and doesn't practice what she preaches. Let us have mercy on her. <laughs> you have been preaching for, her, for people to have mercy on her. You need to go to Insta blog. <laughs> the baddest. I always hear about Linda, but after this, I will have to check her channel out. Oh, she has a blog, is what she has. She has a blog. It's a blog site she has. Uh, not really into YouTube. She's on YouTube, but you won't see her on YouTube. It's other people that does her program on, on her, on her, this thing, but she's, she's big. She's got a, a blog that has thousands of traffic. She's been working on it for years. I, I told you, she's done that thing for... I mean, when people didn't even know about blogging in Nigeria, in Africa, she started and she's made so much money out of it. Uh, Tochuku says, if it comes out that the, the father of the baby is married, then Linda simply needs to donate all she has made from her blog. <laughs> to charity. <laughs> Tochuku, don't keep me with love. It's not only charity. You see Nigerians that donate to charity like that in Nigeria. You must be joking. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. Love. Nikki Love says she would have done wedding quick like her sister because Laura was pregnant already before Mary. I thought this is what I'm thinking as well. You know, <laughs> Lydia says, in the process of time, she revealed the man and by God's grace, she will marry. You are a really big fan. I can tell that you are a really big fan. You feel very strongly about this. <laughs> Helen says, maybe she has waited for Mr. Wright who is not coming, her age is no longer on her side. She decides to just have a baby. Actually, she's in her 30s. That's what she says, that she's in her 30s. I don't think that is that. She's not 40 yet, so I don't think it's a question of age. I think it's more of a question of, question of pressure, societal pressure. That's what it is. It's not age per se, because if you're in your early 30s or mid 30s, then uh, you still got time. More and more, women are having children very late now. I mean, so I don't think it's more to do with the age. Mm. Mimi K says, and to be, we are not fighting. No, Helen concurred to a statement I made. So I was just adding, oh, I see. I was, I was hearing something about Suleiman. I'm wondering, well, how did Suleiman come into this equation, I beg? <laughs> uh, how did Suleiman come into this question? Okay. Lara's child is the first grandchild. Oh, yes. Her younger sister's child, isn't it? Is the first grandchild. I see. Yeah, so that's the hot gist about Linda Ikejio. Mm. Uh, Insta blog. Insta blog is looking for trouble now. Insta blog Ninja, we surely, United Queen said, we surely dig into her story. And she actually has a child for a married man. After all, she has written about single mothers. Yes. This is what people are saying that she's always written about single mothers. So even people are saying that she's not preaching celibacy. Can you deny the fact that she's been writing and, you know, castigating single mothers? Can you? So if you've been writing about single mothers and exposing them, tarnishing their image, why should you be? Because as far as Nigerians are concerned, she's a single mother. What is a single mother? It's a woman who has a baby and she's not married. So I, I don't know how people will explain that. Um, yeah. Yeah, so uh, nature of the voices but Fumi is 49 years and she's eight and a half months pregnant and menopause is not a big thing i beg who is Fumi? i don't know who Fumi is 49 who is Fumi that is 49 i don't know which Fumi is 
Charlie boy. Ah, Charlie boy. <laughs> Juliet, you know what? Charlie boy said her mumu don't do. She said she advised her to get pregnant and stop wasting her time waiting for husband. To me, picking a life past husband, though. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, when she got pregnant, Charlie boy. You know Charlie boy? That one uh, is an Americano. It's not a... Uh, he's just in Nigeria physically. He's an Americano. Look at all those piercing and tattoos and everything. And the way he dresses. Uh, Charlie boy is... Uh, it's not for this generation. It's for generation to call. Uh -huh. Why uh, people are still talking about Kemi? Somebody, uh, Temilo, Temi Tolu said she made a hell of money from running people's lives down. I honestly don't feel bad talking about her because because we are <laughs> we are all bloggers. Okay, Temi Tolu, you are not a blogger, but okay. Oh. <laughs> Tell me where your blog is, oh, ha -ha. Damian eighty. Ha, that's very harsh, oh. Linda is a disgrace. Ah, that's it. That's really, really harsh. Ah, you guys that have mercy now, show some love. In King London, say all the girls who felt Linda was their role mother was just deceiving themselves, living her life to the max. Does she even care? Today's news is tomorrow's old newspaper. Now, so but you know the funny thing now, we are talking about Nigeria. Not only Nigeria, even here, young girls always aspire to have people like that young successful women in a male dominated society who are successful uh you know as role model so you don't blame them if they believe every word that comes out of her mouth chibuke says well according to wikipedia linda is 37 oh <laughs> how can you believe anything on wikipedia it's people that put that information well don't even believe anything you read on wikipedia that that site is, is just is rubbish <laughs> Uh, Linda's uh Kemi said she would do what Linda did next year. Oh, uh, I thought she was the one that was abusing her. So Chukun Joku said Jenna Jackson had a baby at 50. So age is no longer an issue for women these days. Well, you have to have the money. It's not for everyone. Let's put it out there. Mm. Oh, okay. You see what I was saying, Chibuke? You see what I was saying? Wikipedia says 37, and Queen Joe is saying that. She turned 38. Oh, yesterday. Okay, so that's correct. She turned 38. So she's near 40. She's not 40 yet. That's not too old. That's not too old. <laughs> that's not too old. Yeah, Janet. Um, Friday Shaiwa says, Janet used medical procedure to have kids. She has only one child. Yeah, for that Arab man, isn't it? But, you know, we say that age is no longer a barrier. Uh, but again, you need to have money. All those procedures are not, they are not cheap. Oh. You need to know that those procedures are not cheap. You need to have money to be able to do them. If you don't have money, you cannot do them. So let's be realistic about that. Don't say age is not a problem. If you don't have money, then age is a very big problem for you. Uh, yes. Yeah, so you need to be, to have the money to be able to do all those. And you know, the thing about this IVF and all this medical treatment that people do is that it's not all the time that's successful. I know somebody that's done it three times. He failed. So it's just by the message of God at the end of the day. Yeah. So it's not always, um, you know, clean cuts or like that. Uh, you're welcome, Lisa. <laughs> you're cooking. Oh, this is what we do as women. You will not believe. I went to work today. I came back. I've made a pot of stew. If I go to my kitchen and show you guys the big pot of stew that I've made this evening. Eh? Before I start this vlog tonight. And if you guys check on my channel, I posted a blog. Uh, there's another vlog that I did this morning that I edited when I came back from work and posted before I started this live vlog. So, yeah, it's about my Bodo Yibo Connect. Um, I created a new channel. Guys, please subscribe to my new channel. It's called Obodo Yibo Connect. Obodo Yibo Connect channel. That's what it's called. So, um, it's dedicated to my to my matchmaking service. You guys know I'm a matchmaker. We are making really good progress. I'm going to have good news. We are going to have a wedding soon. If Linda doesn't do wedding, we in Obodo Ibo TV are going to do wedding. Honestly, we are going to do a wedding soon. I'm telling you guys. So, yeah. So, I realized that um, I can't um, do both of them on the same platform. So, I've decided to create a YouTube channel for 
my matchmaking service. So that's the name of the channel. It's called Obodo Ibo Connect. Please subscribe and support your girl um, so that, you know, I can be giving updates on what's happening in my new channel, what I'm doing for people who don't know because I can't always be talking about it here. Ah, Tochuku says, I'm a hard worker. Oh, thank you, my dear. What can I do? A lot of people ask me, how do you do it? Mimike, thank you so much for coming. I love you. Finish your stew. <laughs> I should stop talking about stew. <laughs> I shouldn't give you a long throat. Oh, thank you, sweetie. Have a good night rest. I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> yeah, so a lot of people ask me, how do you do it? How do you do it? You go to work, you come back, you do all these videos, you edit, you have children, you have a, a, a man to look after, you have everything. You know what? It's just by the grace of God and, you know, passion as well pulls you. I'm telling you, sometimes I'm editing at 2 a.m. I'm editing. I'm going to work the next day. I'm going to work the next day and I'm editing, you know. <laughs> so it's just the passion. When you are passionate about something, the passion will pull you. Inky Londa said, to sell us babies are the latest fashion trends, accessories. Linda wants to have all the best accessories and the baby is her latest Hermes bag. <laughs> now she almost has it, her husband for sale. I don't know what is wrong with all these Nigerian men, no. How can you say a fine girl like that? Linda is fine now. And, you know, she's a black beauty. She's successful. She's made it. And there's no husband. All those, uh, how many 200 million Nigerians? Let's say out of the 200 million that you know, a hundred uh, million is uh, men. Okay, out of the hundred million, maybe 50 million are married. 15 million, uh, I don't know how to do these stats. But there's got to be somebody who is interested. I don't know. Maybe her success is driving people away. Uh, he is, you're welcome. I don't know, maybe her level of success is driving people away and making people run. But, you know, ah, I think she should, I mean, men shouldn't be scared. They should, I mean, come forward. But then again, she will not want to marry a man that is broke, that doesn't have money. That's another thing. So it needs to be somebody, she will want somebody who is richer than her. Who can be richer than her now that is single? That's the thing. For most guys, by the time they attain that level of, 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 you know, of comfort, of riches, they would have been married because they will marry a woman who will work with them and they will build their empire together. They will build their, their home together and, you know, whatever they have will come later on. So she's dating a man who in his, she's 38 now and she's dating a man that is 45 or 40 above, he'll be married. That's just the truth. She will not want to date somebody in her age bracket because most times those ones, they just finished doing NYSC and they've been looking for a job. By the time they get job, maybe it's one clerk job that they have, have that is paying uh, 50,000 Naira a month. You know, that's not even enough for her petrol a month. So what would she want to do with you? So that's the problem. Mm, that's the problem. That's the problem with, you know, women who are very successful in that kind of environment where, you know, women want, they, they, they want to marry somebody who's more successful. Uh, Afrobeat, please, so, go to Bodo Ibo Connect, so. <laughs> subscribe, you see, eh? hmm. the things I'm going to be sharing on that channel is, oh, yeah, to. ah, let me not even, let me not praise myself, let me not say anything, oh, yeah, to. well, it's completely different from Bodo Ibo TV. We're going to be talking about relationships, we're talking about, you know, Love, we're gonna be talking about sex, we're gonna be talking about flirting, you know, how to catch his eyes, things to keep him, you know, interested. Everything you can think of when it comes to you know this thing we call relationship, or you know, it's for everybody. <laughs> it's for everybody. So please subscribe to that channel. And my first video is coming up this weekend, and uh, yeah. <laughs> Helen says, and to be husband, no day. <laughs> husband, no day. Husband, day. No claim negative. <laughs> I don't know. Dayo says, and to be, I love you dearly, but, but why is Linda's pregnancy and childbirth such a noise? I don't really know much about her. Oh, love you dearly from the US. Oh, you don't know much about her. Oh, I don't have time to go into it. Maybe if you watch this blog over, all over again, you'll be able to get, a, a, you know, a very brief perspective about who she is and why is such a palaver. <laughs> Chibuke says, definitely men would not date, want to date her because of her success. You have to find someone on the same level, unfortunately. But this is not the norm. Yeah. 
Uh, little Sharon said, at least have a job. Things can change at any time, and God forbid her career might end. Uh, yeah, that's the truth. Yeah, early start. Oh, Nikki, Inky, good night. Good night, sis. Talk to you soon. Yeah, we should be rounding up now. I think we've done justice to this topic. All you Linda Cage's fan and non fans, you guys should take it easy. Uh, we are happy that she has a baby. Congratulations to Linda. A baby is always a good thing. You know, I don't buy into these ideas of people calling calling her name, saying that the child is illegitimate or is a bastard. No, 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 no. There's no child as a bastard. You know, at the end of the day, uh, a baby is a blessing. Whether they are had they are had in marriage or outside marriage, wedlock or no wedlock, a baby is always a blessing. So yeah, let's run it here. It's almost one hour. Uh, thank you, Afrobeat. Yeah, so let me start saying goodbye. If you haven't subscribed to my Bodo Ibo Connect, I have a new channel, a second channel now. It's called Obodo Ibo Connects. Please subscribe and yeah, join me. It's gonna be juicy, juicy. All this film and popper that we are doing on this Obodo Ibo TV, I'm not doing it there. That one, eh? It's a different person you guys are gonna see. I'm gonna let loose. <laughs> I'm gonna let you guys into another aspect of me that you have never seen before. So yeah, good night. Let me start saying good night. Good night, Afro Brit. Lisa. Thank you very much. Good night. Fancy face. Thank you, sis. Good night, sis. Dini G. Good night. Fumi Layo. Please subscribe to my Abodo Ibo Connect. Uh, so, yeah. So, you will see all the juicy, juicy. Fama Duru. Good night, sweetheart. Chocolate Cafe. Good night. Fumi Layo. Good night. India Opara. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you. Please subscribe to my new channel. FIFA. You haven't told me whether you are a man or a woman. Oh, please, I need to know. Are you male or female? I'm looking for a lot of people. And I'm going to tell you the kind of people I'm looking for. For the men that I have av available now on my Obodo Ibo Connect. I have a lot of men. I'll be talking about it in my Obodo Ibo Connect. All you sisters. Oh, yeah. Buckle up. Run to my Obodo Ibo, uh, uh, Obodo Ibo Connect channel. And then we'll catch up later. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you. Mwah. 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 Love you, Lord. Chibuke, good night. Say hello to everyone in the U.S. for me. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Have a good evening. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.